Over the last few years, I've said that I really believe that Linux desktop market share is exploding in popularity because I see it. I see more people online talking about Linux. I see more YouTube channels talking about Linux. I see the channels that are talking about Linux on YouTube getting a lot of views, a lot of subscribers. More people are interested in desktop Linux. And, and I've seen that, but we didn't have real world data to back this up. I can't really just say Linux is becoming very popular just because of a feeling, right? We need actual data. Well. We have some good news here from StatCounter because recently they released this month's operating system market share. And specifically, we're talking about desktop operating systems. So not servers where obviously Linux would dominate. This is desktop operating systems only. And Windows comes in at a rather low 68%. I was really shocked by that. And OS 10, so the Mac OS, right? 21.38%. That is extremely high. I, I can't believe that Mac OS has that big of a market share on the desktop right now. So Mac OS is actually gaining a lot of users. Chrome OS is at 4%. Unknown is at 3%. And look at Linux. 3.08%. And what makes this really great news is this is the first time Linux has ever come in at 3% in these statistics. Forever, Linux was always hovering around 2%. I remember a few years ago, we were 1%, 1.5%. Here in the last couple of years, we've always been above 2%, but we never really could get above about 2.5, 2.7%. And this month, we come in at 3.08%. And of course, this is this month's market share. If you go back about four years ago, five years ago, when I started my YouTube channel, Linux market share typically was around 1.5, 1.6% in these same stat counter statistics, monthly uh, reports that they would do, which means in the last four or five years, Linux has essentially doubled as far as desktop market share, right? We have twice as many people using Linux as a desktop operating system today than we did just a few years ago. So I know a lot of people are going to look at this 3.08% number and say, well, that's still a really low percentage of the desktop market share. But when you consider that we just doubled the number of our users here in the last few years, this is an extremely good sign. And the fact that Windows usage is obviously declining, which means pretty much everything else is gaining all of these Windows refugees. I think that's why OS 10 is exploding in popularity all of a sudden, as well as Linux, as well as Chrome OS. Unknown, this unknown category, this is probably going to be really old installations of these other operating systems, but for whatever reason, they can't register what these people are running. So it's probably really old versions of Windows, probably is what these people are running in the unknown category. Obviously, the rise in popularity of the Steam Deck is really pushing Linux adoption. As far as this graph here, this graph is kind of unreadable because you still have Windows, you know, that started here at around 78% and now is around 68%, you know, over the last year. And you can see that Mac OS has slowly risen, but it's really hard to read anything else on the chart. You really can't view Linux because the line really doesn't move. I mean, the move from, you know, 2.4% to 3% is such a slight move that the graph is hard to read. So I actually downloaded that data as a CSV file. And if we go back over the last year, you can see a year ago, last June, we were at 2.42%. And we've slowly increased. Of course, it fluctuates a little bit. You know, and these numbers do vary, but you can see that there is a slow, gradual drift up for pretty much all the operating systems except Windows, which of course is on a slow decline down. Now, the April and May statistics of 2023 are a little weird because for whatever reason, Windows only reported 62% market share, which is extremely low, much lower than 68% for this past month, but I think that was due to some unusually large readings in the unknown category. See, unknown was 13%, and again, those are probably mostly really old versions of Windows that for whatever reason don't register as a Windows machine. So, you know, stat counter just puts them in an unknown category, but probably most of those are actually Windows installations. Some of them are probably really old Mac OS 10 installations as well, which was a little low for those months as well. But you can see OS 10 went from 
14.64% in the last year to 21.32%. You can see it was a pretty steady increase, you know, a couple of jogs down, but for the most part, it has been a steady rise. And much like Linux has doubled its market share in the last four or five years, if I went back to like 2018, 2017, when I first started my YouTube channel and I was checking these statistics, uh, Mac OS X then was only registering around 12 percent 13 percent so it's gone from like 12 or 13 percent to 21.32 percent in the last four or five years so it hasn't quite doubled its market share but that's probably a 70 or 80 percent increase in market share which is an extreme increase uh, which is probably one of the reasons that Apple now is a three trillion dollar company as far as their market cap, but Microsoft is also a trillion dollar company. They haven't hit the three trillion dollar mark, but they're doing fine with Windows and all their cloud stuff and everything. And of course, Google, the maker of Chrome OS, is also a trillion dollar company, not to mention that Google makes a ton of money on mobile operating systems, which we're not talking about today. Now, one interesting thing is there is another monthly report that comes out from the guys over at Steam, and this report is not as good because Steam obviously is surveying Steam users, so gamers. And pretty much if you're a avid gamer, you're going to use Microsoft Windows, right? So you're gonna see a huge percentage of Steam users using Windows. You can see 96.77%. That is insane, right? And then uh, OS 10, 1.79%, uh, and Linux, 1.44%, which is crazy that Linux has 1.44% compared to OS 10, 1.79%. So there's many, pretty much as many people gaming on Linux as there are on Mac OS. Uh, but again, it's, this is kind of a, a niche kind of survey because it is only targeted at avid gamers and specifically those that use Steam. So the stat counter uh, desktop market share percentages are a much better representation of what's going on. So what should we make of this survey? What should we make of this number? Well, there's a few things we could make of this number. For one thing, if this number is real, then this means that Linux has never been as popular on the desktop as it is right now. And if these monthly statistics, if the trend is real, then Linux has exploded in popularity here in recent months especially so i think that's a good thing we're clearly growing right we're clearly growing faster probably than any other operating system on the desktop right now and when you couple that with the fact that linux dominates server market share right now pretty much in the server world it's all linux all the time and then in the mobile world um, the biggest mobile operating system obviously is android which is built off a of linux kernel at least you know linux is very healthy as far as the just general computer space. Now, where do we go from here? I, mean, I think with the rise of the Steam Deck, I, I think this percentage is going to continue to see a gradual increase. I don't know if it's ever going to get to the point where we have a, a, a Mac OS X kind of percentage, like a 20% uh, market share. I think that is kind of crazy to, to predict that. Could we have a 10% market share? Mm, I think that's probably crazy too, but uh, it wouldn't shock me in five years, you know, another five years from now, if I'm still doing this Linux YouTube channel, if this number isn't, say, 5%, 6%, like we double again here in the next five years, I could I could totally see that happening. In fact, I think that's destined to happen. I, I think we're probably going to see another doubling in our desktop market share as long as our desktop Linux distributions don't drop the ball, as long as some of like the big desktop environments like GNOME and KDE Plasma, as long as they don't drop the ball. If we start releasing some really buggy alpha quality garbage out there for people to use, I think that would hurt us. <laughs> One of the things with free and open source software is sometimes we will push out releases of stuff, experimental releases, because that's the way we roll with free software, right? We'll, we'll, we often break things and change things, and I think we have to be careful 
about that now, especially as we're gaining this popularity. We, we don't want to give any of this back. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. I need to thank Gabe, James, Matt, Paul, Royal, Wes, Armor Dragon, Commander Angry, George, Lee, Meadows, Nate, Er, Jan, Paul, Peace, Arch, and Fedora, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Tools, Devler, War, Gentoo, and Ubuntu, Willie, <laughs> these guys. They're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This little look at the stat counter survey, it wouldn't have been possible. The show's also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon. I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to see more videos about free and open source software, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace. One in five desktop computers is a Mac. That hurts my heart.